Okay, um, I am day two. I can't even say due to day two because it has not been 24 hours, but it technically is the 12th. Um, my surgery was at two, so it's not even one o'clock. Maybe it's one. I'm walking. Y'all yeah. got my first massage. No joke. Right. Back didn't hurt. But when she started massaging in my ribs and my sides, and she opened up, she cut my incisions open and was dragging me from the front. Yo. It's really just the sides of my ribs, to be honest. Cause um down by like the bed. Vaginal area didn't really hurt. My thighs is numb. My arms don't really hurt. It just feels feel like I did a couple of push-ups. Um, but it's definitely like the size. And she was pushing stuff out in the back. It was a little pressure she put on to push it out. So like right, right there by the incision hurt it, but that was about it. So um, I'm walking before I lay down, take a nap. Cause I just sat down and ate lunch. And the girl's stiff, and I can't go from sitting down to um, going to lay down. I need to walk some, loosen my skin back up, or loosen up again, and then I'm going to lay down because I'm going to be stiff as fuck when I wake up. And they have gave me some hips. He sure gave me some booty, y'all. He snatched the fuck out my stomach. Oh, my God. This dummy gonna be snatched to the guards. I already started taking my candle do little drops. I got these down here, y'all, because I didn't know about it. And I'm gonna tell y'all about it later. And I already started taking my wound bite. Which is to help with swelling, scars, and um, surgery recovery support. So, I ain't playing. So I'm getting kind of sleepy. I swear, massage take everything out of you, all your energy, everything. And I was sleeping so bad. I had so much fluid, y'all. So much fluid. And I can't even say, oh, I feel better after because um, I really wasn't in much pain. Like, the massage brought the pain. Honestly, let me say that. Even they put that fire on, they'll give you no mercy. No mercy. Okay. I'm trying to get it out a little bit. Pull it a little bit compressed. Okay, y'all. Uh, second one of the girls to massages and to pick up my stage to go that I got custom made. I just want to show y'all like in clothes, right? Okay. Either like pads and foam boards. He 
it in Galipo. So I don't have this um, people right here. Um, it's like an Audi's pass. Phones and backboards and airport. I feel good. I'm walking around. Like I said, I'm just getting to have massage first and then we're going to go pick up my Baja. Um, yes, y'all. So we found a masseuse. His name is Jonathan. It's hands down, y'all. Like, I've been getting a massage from him. I know I'm spoiled. I'm going to be spoiled. I'm going to be pissed off. I don't want nobody to massage me like he massages me. Um, but this is his um, office, y'all. They got like a little patio i'm upstairs i got a downstairs um i just took a walk around the park y'all i just tried one of their fruits um it's a dry fruit it tastes like sweet potato but then it tastes like a pear it smells i think it smells like a pear or peach like a pear or peach or something like that um i just didn't want any more um but it has honey i ate it with honey just a tad bit of salt not a lot of salt because we're not supposed to be eating salt but it's dry Thick. It has proteins in it, omega in it. Um, forgot what type of vitamins it has in it. I'm gonna have to ask the driver what's the fruit called again, y'all, because um, I forgot that bass. And I'm gonna tell y'all. So if y'all come out here, y'all should try it. It tastes really good with honey. I would really recommend the salt because it's good with the salt too, though. But we can't really eat salt, so I really just put like a dab, like. Barely even saw on it. Um, that's it, y'all. I feel like this backboard is killing me, but we gotta wear it, right? All this compression. I'm just ready for me to not compress no more, y'all. I'm not even gonna lie. I'd rather just wear the faha by itself without all this extra shit in it, but. Beauty is pain, baby. Um, yeah, so this is, this is, yeah. I wasted some honey on my shirt. Don't look at that. Um, I got it on the first one because, um, like I said, they've been over compressing me to the point, like, I swear really bad. Um, so I'm, uh, I've just been compressing myself the past few days, and I've been feeling good, and I don't think I need to overly compress or put my clips on like two or three or four so fast I can work my way to that. And with all this extra padding, I don't want to be too tight to the point I can't breathe, and I get the swelling in the fluid, stuff like that from being over compressed, and then being stiff and hard, and my massage is be hurting because I'm over compressed. So now. But that's it, I'm just chiming in, I'm out and about, y'all. This is day seven. So I wanna say, yes, day seven, so. And y'all, I've never been so ready to go home, but I'm so ready to go home. I've never been so ready to get my kids back like this. Like normally they leave after 24 hours, I'll be like, okay, y'all, bring them back. But this is the longest, y'all. I don't think I'm gonna let my kids out my sight when I go home. Like, who house you want to go to? Mm-mm. Y'all going to be stuck with me. Okay. That's it, y'all know. What happened, Oh, shit. What is this? It's handmade. It's handmade. It's handmade. Oh, wow. I want to have a doll. This is pretty. Look at this whole stadium over there. Dang, this is wild. 
It feel good up here too. So today is January 21st and your girl is on the way home. I'm currently at the airport um, in Cali, Columbia. That's my gate. Fort Lauderdale. I'm walking. I did get wheelchair assistance, y'all, so get it. Just don't tell them that you having surgery, like cosmetic surgery, because then they're gonna be goddamn interrogating y'all ass about why y'all need a wheelchair. And if you, so I just told them like you know, I had a bad back or whatever, and I got wheelchair assistance. Got through customs, everything easy, fine, cool. Um, I didn't have to do the check migration form because they didn't ask for it, so I didn't do it. Um, they just got my visa, or whatever, and it was that. Uh, maybe because I did wheelchair assistance, so maybe that's what made it easy. Um, so yeah, so you can't wear your pads, you can't wear your phone boards, you can't be compressed coming through the airport because then they're gonna think you have like a bomb or a gun or something like that. So you really have to wear your Baja like straight. And I'm gonna have my soccer on. And what I did was I just put my pads and my um, bed pads and stuff I use to like stuff myself at night in my purse. And then I just put it in my Baja when I got to the bathroom through security when I got to my gate so that's what I did so I could be compressed on the plane um I'm up walking right now because I ain't gonna lie y'all the little 10 minutes or whatever I was sitting in that wheelchair my booty hurt so I picture this flight is about to be four hours so I'm gonna be up every hour for 30 minutes so I'm gonna sit for 30 up for 30 sit for 30 up for 30 sit for 30 up for 30 um so yeah yeah, I'm just walking and stuff. And yeah. That's all. There's a lot of girls here that got surgery. Uh, it's so crazy. It's the waist for me. Don't worry about my pants and stuff I got in here. Like you earned at the end of your first year? Automatically. Discover exceptionally common sense. Learn more at discover.com slash match. Limitations apply. Great candidates to hire can be like, well, trying to find a needle in a haystack, but not with ZipRecruiter. Its powerful technology actively finds and